So it seems like every couple of years there is a new wireless standard that comes out and every device on the planet has to meet that standard if they want to make sure they are getting the fastest and strongest connection possible. Right now the standard is 802.11ac, but a new standard is already on the horizon and D-Link has chosen CES as a place to show off their two new routers of the future which are capable of putting out the next wireless standard, 802.11ax. Now you might be thinking, how much faster can wireless already get? After all, most people can barely get more than 100 megabits per second from their local ISP. The real key to this future standard is the fact that it is not only improving the speeds of your wireless internet connection, but it is also allowing your network to have a higher capacity of devices connecting on your network. This is obviously something that will be key in 2018, as so many of the devices in our homes are now smart devices, ranging from TVs to light bulbs. Now that doesn't mean speeds haven't been increased as well. On a single band of 802.11ax, you will be able to get speeds of 3.5 gigabits per second, whereas on 802.11ac, you will get about 866 megabits per second on a single band. Now, what is kind of funny about this standard of wireless is that technically, it's not even finished yet. The Wi-Fi Alliance, who certify all these crazy wireless standards, doesn't plan on certifying this standard until next year. The AX6000 Ultra and the AX11000 Ultra, the two routers that D-Link has packed with this theoretical standard, have a bunch of antennas, look like spaceships, and are also capable of getting some ridiculous wireless speeds. The AX6000 is a dual band router and it is capable of getting speeds at up to 6000 megabits per second, whereas the AX11000 is a tri-band router and is capable of getting speeds of, you guessed it, 11,000 megabits per second. So far, D-Link has not given any estimate on to how much these will cost, but they are putting the release date somewhere around the second half of 2018, which seems fair as there will likely not be a single device on the market that will be able to take advantage of that new Wi-Fi standard until then.